How's it going everybody? Lucian Sword here and today we are continuing our climb to diamond in our tin to diamond video series. If you missed the first two episodes, first episode I did the entire top row of legends. Every single game we win, we go to the next legend and if I lose a game we have to keep playing that legend until I lose but we have yet to lose a game. I did the first Row, first video, second video, I did the entire second row of Legends. And today I'm gonna try to do the entire third row. Uh, it really depends on how long it takes, if we lose any games and if the games last a long time. Uh, it just depends, but if we go pretty quickly, we should be able to go through the entire third row of Legends. So buckle in and let's get started. Tin to Diamond, continuing with episode three, starting it out with Mordex. Mordex, I do want to use a different scythe, no offense. I'm going to use the Penumbral Crescent. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to use the Hands of Fate. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's go. Jumping right in at 1356 ELO. So that is Silver 5. We are very close to getting Gold Rank, and we should get Gold Rank in this video. I don't actually remember what the... Uh, like threshold number is but we're pretty close all right first game is against a zario victor kim 05 gotta let him get a weapon as always all right let's get it on he's playing a lot more carefully um than people in Oh my goodness, my screen flashed right when I was, okay. Yeah, he's playing a little bit better than the people in uh, like low silver or bronze or tin were playing for sure. Oops. I feel like I could get him with the uh, down sig if, if we're patient. Oh, I almost had it right there. Ooh, that was a nice, nice little challenge he did right there. Nice dodge as well. I haven't actually lost a first stock like this entire series. And I don't intend to right here. There it is. Get off of my stage. He's doing really good. He might be a smurf himself. Very possible playing a little bit too good for a silver and if you are a silver four you know ooh that was a good hit I wanted to do a gravity cancel neutral sig but he was a little bit too fast on that ground pound just gonna wait for the weapon oh Missing my attacks. It is our first game. I, I still got to warm up a tiny bit. Ooh, God, with that side sig. He kind of hesitated there. All right, let's switch back to the gauntlets. Any Mordex mains out there? I know there's got to be a few. Mordex is like the most popular legend in the game. I got to say, though, I like Zariel uh, just as much as I like Mordex. He's a fun legend. Hold that. And that might be game. Yep. GG, dude. GG. Well played. He was pretty good, but... A little bit predictable getting back to stage. That was like the only weakness. But yeah, very good play. I don't think he was silver five. He was playing more like a plat five. <laughs> All right, going to Yumiko. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play this third row of legends. Like I love this third row of legends. Probably uh, some of my most favorite legends are on the third row, but also the fourth row. All right, we're going against a different person, and it is VN11, and he's got a gold avatar, so that means he's reached gold rank before. 
and now he's in plat rank. And for those wondering, if you're new to my channel, I've reached diamond rank 23 seasons. I'm pretty sure it's 23. I have to check, but many, many seasons I've reached diamond on my main account. This is just my alt account doing this 10 to diamond series for science. Just to show you guys what it's like to go all the way from low to high. Oh, got him with that neutral sig. You better not float right in front of me, Bodvar. I'm gonna get you with that every time. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought I could hit it with that, but I guess not. I feel like uh, this guy's weakness might actually be my neutral air on hammer. Look at that. Look at that. Just absolutely hitting almost every neutral air. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yumiko's down sig right there is just so good. We might be looking at a three stock. Oh, he saved us. Oh my goodness, this is like one more hit and I am toast. Oh, there's a three stock. He actually saved me, like I I was dead and he saved me, otherwise it would have been a two stock probably, but he helped me get that three stock. Unfortunately, we're still not gold. All right, well, let's keep it going with Artemis. I actually do have a couple cool skins on my alt account for Artemis. I got Future Spirit and Eclipse. I think I'm gonna go with Eclipse. Eclipse is actually like one of my favorite skins. But we'll use the future spirit lance. How about there? We're using kind of like both skins here. And I think I'm going to take away from dexterity and go nine speed. Eh, actually, let's just go up the defense. I like the stats to be a little bit more balanced out. If you guys are enjoying the tin to diamond series, please do me a favor and drop a like. It helps out the channel a lot. And I will, in turn, drop lots of codes for you guys to redeem in Brawlhalla after the video premieres. I always drop codes in the comments for you guys to get some free items. All right, gave him the weapon. He's doing a pretty decent job of weapon starving. Since he attacked us, I'm just gonna go ahead and attack with unarmed there. Oop, thought I could dodge that, I guess not. This is more the level of silver five I was expecting. Like that one dude, we played first? Ain't no way he wasn't a smurf, right? So last video, um, we had literally 50% of the people probably rage quit. I don't actually remember the number, but it could have even been more than 50%. Like, so many people. And I say rage quit, but it could have been lag or anything. But I'll just say they quit. Um, but so far, nobody has quit in, uh, in this video. So... Hoping that that continues because honestly, I like to play the the entire fight. Got him with that down sig. Artemis is one of my favorite legends too. Like Lance and Scythe, that is such a cool combo. Oof, that actually reached. I actually almost hit with that. Oh my goodness, the double down sig. Nice try, nice try. GG do GG, that was Artemis. Man, we did really good with Artemis. Are we gold? Still up, uh, yep. Yeah. Hey, We made it to gold rank. Oh yeah. I remember the first time I ever got gold rank. I felt so good, guys. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, like, it is an achievement to get gold rank. You should be proud. It means that you're better than uh, a lot of players. So congratulations if you've ever reached gold rank. Now, 
Let's go ahead and keep it going. Uh, this time I'm going to play Caspian, and I guess we have some pretty interesting looking weapons here. Look at the Dragon Tooth Katars. Look at that. You wouldn't want to be having uh, somebody throw Dragon Teeth at you. They're like knives. Dragon Teeth that have turned into knives. All right, here we're going against Greasy Bacon 98 He's got a gold border as well. I guess now that we're in gold, we're going to be playing lots of golds, eh? All right, here we go, guys. Greasy Bacon. Thor does look kind of greasy. All right, I'm going to let him get a weapon. All right, this guy knows how to play. I can already tell. Oops, I kind of messed up there. Oh man, I was trying to do that reversal. It didn't work. That's okay, I like the Katars better anyways. Caspian Katars are actually really good. Oh, he died from going under the bottom of the stage. I used to do that a lot. So like when you're down here, then you jump and hit the bo- Ooh, sorry buddy, I was trying to show them something. But anyways, yeah, you hit the bottom of that stage on your last jump and it's so brutal. Dude, that platform saved your life. I'm scared of him if he gets the hammer because the hammer will hit very hard. Ooh, he popped up his head just enough. Just enough to get bombed in the in the head. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gauntlets, baby. Oops. I really would love to hit that move, the, the side sig, but I've missed it every time. How about the bomb? Boom, got it. GG dude, GG. I feel good, we got that side sig, well played dude. Don't feel bad, I'm sure you'll go on to get plat. All right, Sidra guys, let's keep it going. Ooh, I got Code of Lions for Sidra. All right. Let's use the uh, the Dragon's Fire. That looks cool. Ooh, and the Power Surge, how about? Oh, yeah, we're going to look really good here. And, oh, I don't have any stances. All right. See, I haven't really played my alt account very much um, over the years. Just a little bit here and there. So I don't have a lot unlocked. I don't even have all the legends with, like, all their stances or anything. So we're just going to have to to use whatever we got, I guess. And actually, on this account, I've never reached Diamond. I've never even tried. Um, I always keep it low rank on purpose for videos where I need to be in the low rank, which is not very often. Oh, okay. Wow. I'm sorry you feel that way. I was just giving you a, a free weapon, and you had to get that nice little combo on me, didn't you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not the uh, most beautiful stock in the world, but we got the job done. Oh my goodness. I actually want to practice on my cannon, so let's just let's just do this. There we go. That felt good. The aggressive like jump fast down air. That felt good. How did that not hit? I feel like Sidra cannon down sig is almost useless sometimes. But she makes up for it with her neutral sig. Because the bomb is just awesome. <laughs> and... 
Oh, I feel bad I missed that final bomb hit. Oh, well. Uh, GG, I guess. Well played, dude. Well played. All right. He gave us a well played and then a thumbs down. Feels bad. All right. Let's go Zol. Ooh, this is a good one. We're going to practice our cannon. And we get to use axe. All right. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I'm just going to go defense stance. Why not? Usually, I do whatever stance takes away from dexterity. So, so far, we have yet to lose a match. But I wouldn't be surprised if we come across a smurf or a really good gold player who actually is able to beat us. So, we'll see. Maybe the first time we lose a game will be in this episode. I doubt it, but we'll see. Just because I've reached diamond many, many times in the past does not mean that I am incapable of having a bad game, you know? <laughs> Plus, I'm playing a different legend every game, so I don't even get to warm up with the legend. I'm just... Right, as soon as I get warmed up with one legend, I'm on to the next, basically. Ooh, I love hitting that one. Ooh, nice. Oh my goodness. Not like this, Rayman. Come get it, baby. Come get it. You want to fight in the death pit? Oh my gosh, she is running so much! That actually hit? Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's a little bit too, too predictable thinking I'm gonna go for a weapon. Boom! Why don't you calm down on those neutral sigs, eh? They they are nice and they and they're fun and everything, but it does leave you pretty much wide open. Yeah, he's still trying to to live and die on those neutral sigs. The way he disconnect right now. I guess uh, I don't even know what I did to make him rage quit. Maybe he was lagging. I don't know, but feels bad because he was actually doing pretty decent. I guess he just realized it wasn't meant to be. Oh, okay. Well, Zol is kind of a bully legend, so we bullied the Rayman with Zol. All right. We're almost halfway through. We got Kaya. Um, I guess I'll do... I kind of like the brown uh, color because it gives the red uh, accent color. I like that. Mm, I don't like her spear, though. That one looks kind of crazy. Let's do the final wish and then the pew pew bow. Oh, yeah. That looks that looks nice. All right. Kaya's a fun legend. This should be a good match. All right. We're going against Potato Man 13. Playing as Artemis. So we got a uh, spear and bow versus scythe and lance. Totally different weapons and legends, so should be an interesting match. Oh yeah, this spear actually looks pretty cool in brown. Oops. Oh my. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, I almost killed myself. He's actually got a recovery again. I think he touched the wall, but he didn't use the recovery. Oh well. All right, let's switch it up with uh, some bow action. Oh my goodness. You got to stop letting me hit you with that, bro. <laughs> he went right into that down sig. Dude, Kaya's fun. Like, I actually hate fighting against a good Kaya player because they're just so dang good.
Bro, what is happening? He's like right on top of me, making it kind of hard. Making it kind of hard for me to hit him. All right, well played, dude. Well played. And uh, that's it with uh, Kaya. Let's keep it going with Isaiah. We got to practice our cannon again. I'm going to go back to the dragon cannon. And I guess the barnacle blasters look kind of funny. Let's just do that. <laughs> I wish I had an Isaiah skin. I don't mind the default, but Isaiah's got some really cool looking skins. I really like Section Zero Isaiah. That's probably my favorite one. All right, here we go against Enrique 20, playing as Petra. Again, two totally different uh, legends. I have Blasters and Cannon, and he has Orb and Gauntlet. And I think Petra is on the third row of Legends, right? So I might be playing her later. Oh, you don't you don't want the orb? All right. But since oh 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 oh, all right. This guy knows how to use Sigs, I see. Yeah, keep on uh, keep on fully charging those Sigs. It ain't gonna work out for you. Ooh. If you fully charge a Sig when nobody's near you, um, anybody's gonna counter that or punish it rather. Okay, I'm trying to do neutral. I need to read these dodges a little bit better. Oh, he went through the weapon throw with that. I can't be charging that. You cannot do it. Oh, I had a perfectly positioned down air on blasters and it just didn't do anything. All right. I know what, what his favorite move is. You have gauntlets and I'm unarmed near the offstage position. You should really be being aggressive here. Gauntlets are one of the best offstage uh, weapons. Bro, I almost killed him with a down air. I just have to wait until he does a signature because he will not like resist. He will always do a signature. It's kind of a weakness of lower rank people, I think, is they rely a little bit too much on that. And like, if I don't attack, don't attack with a signature. Just, just don't. You're gonna get punished. If somebody is being passive, probably what they're actually doing is just waiting for you to throw out a signature here because they think that that's all you're doing. Or, you know, the majority of what you're doing. He's doing other stuff, but he's doing signatures enough to where I just know if... Like that. Like, just, what are you doing there? That one wasn't too bad. There we go. I read the dodge that time. All right, GG, GG, dude. I, I'm not putting him down at all. I'm just trying to use this uh, match as like a learning exercise so everybody can learn um, how to play better. Nothing against him at all. All right, we're going into Jiro. Ooh, this one's gonna be fun. I do love playing with Jiro. I do have a Skyforge sword? All right, I didn't even like see that. And then we're gonna go Skyforge Scythe. All right, there we go. We got Skyforge sword and Scythe. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those cool Jiro skins like I do on my main account, but that's okay. Ooh, we're going against a gold forge Taros. And that's the uh, uh, the hall monitor Taros from the back to school. Oh man, that is cool. I don't think I've ever seen that in gold forged. All right, well, I have very low defense and we're going against somebody who has uh, a lot of power here. He attacked me first, so that's why I'm not letting him get a weapon there. And I killed myself. Awesome. All right. Well, we'll give him a one stock advantage. No problem. That doesn't actually even count as his kill. I miss input. All right. Also, don't assume somebody like has to have a weapon to beat you. That's another uh, lesson because a lot of people will just camp the weapon thinking that like you're absolutely never going to win without picking up a weapon. It's like, actually, 
You're just becoming predictable by weapon camping, and now I can punish you. Surprised he didn't go for a neutral sig there. How did that not hit? Hmm, was picking up that weapon worth dying for? Cause that's what's gonna happen, Taros. I guess he didn't die yet. Again, throwing out a sig when no one is near. Maybe he meant to do something else. I gotta play pretty carefully here. Again, he was like so worried about that weapon, bro. Instead of worrying about me potentially picking up a weapon, just fight fight me, just go kill me. Don't, don't worry about what I'm doing with the weapon or not. Like that is a good strategy for like silver, but not in a uh, plat or diamond. I mean, maybe it works in gold, I don't know. Ouch, that one hurt. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, that was close, Taros. Oh, I really wanted to hit him with that. Actually, <laughs> he let me. How about again? Oh. Oh. He really wants to get hit by that neutral stick. GG, dude, GG. We gave him that one stock, but he never actually took another stock. Oh, and he was plat. He had a, or at, well, at least he had a platinum uh, avatar there. We're only in gold too? And we're going against plats already? All right, let's keep it going with Lin Fei. I'm not even gonna mess with the customization because I like default Lin Fei. And because we gotta try to hurry up. That, mass, that last match kind of took a while. Another Taros, okay. Gotta take a sip of coffee real quick. Hmm. Keeping it going and uh, hopefully we'll go strong and not kill ourselves this time like we did last game because I might be able to get away with that in uh, in gold rank but Probably not in uh, plat rank, you know, what I mean Let's go, Taros. Taste the dragon. That was a nice down air. I give him credit on that one. Ooh, that one hurt. He actually might have first stock here. Oh, no, no, no. Gotta be careful. Don't, don't, don't bite before the food is in your mouth. You're gonna bite your tongue. That's what happened there. He bit his tongue. He knew what he wanted to do, but it was just too early. Oh my goodness. What was that ground pound? It was like a half moon ground pound or half circle. Oh, made you miss, Taros. Don't come back up here. You're going to get a bomb in the head. Okay. Lin Fei is actually one of the least used legends in the game. And yet, as you can, she, as you can see, I said she. 
<laughs> As you can see, uh, not bad of a legend, really. You just have to get used to using cannon and guitars. And this should be game. Oh, that, that fireball should have hit. There it is. I knew he was going to go back for that weapon. GG do GG. Well played. That was Lin Fei, and we made it halfway through gold, guys. We are actually gold three. That's pretty cool. We only have half of gold, all of plot, and then diamond. All right, let's go to Zariel. I don't think I have very much to choose from. I guess I'll use the Lion's Reign, and then the bow. Mm, ooh, Skyforge bow just looks awesome. I'm going to use Skyforge bow. If you guys have made it this far in the video, thank you so much for continuing to watch. It really helps the channel out. And thank you, for real. All right, here we go. Going against Barraza. That's actually one of my favorite skins in the game. I love that. I think it's called Sawed Off Barraza. I just love the green eyes, like in the helmet. It just looks so cool to me. All right, we gotta be careful here, actually, because Barraza is like one of the best legends in the game. And he does have axe. Wow, he didn't get a wall touch there. I am actually surprised because it looked like he hit the wall to me. Not actually that worried. From what I've seen so far, this guy probably oh, fully charged down sick, bro. This guy's probably having an off game. A little bit of intensity coming out of him now, but his back is kind of to the wall. People usually play their best when they're about to lose. At least I do. Because they don't want to lose. They refuse and they just want to try everything they can to win. And if they're going against somebody who's really good, they just want to see how they can do against them, you know? GG. Look at that. He even gave a GG. Much respect to T TS Patriarch, man. I respect that. All right, guys. Only four more legends to go. We got Rayman. I guess I'll just do the, those. All right. Here we go. Going against an Ember. Nikachu! <laughs> it's like Pikachu, but Nikachu. Alright, Ember versus Rayman. This should be fun. Rayman actually is a really, really, really good legend. And Ember... Rayman actually did give us like some problems in that one fight earlier in the, in the video. I think it was like game one. Oh, how did I not hit that? Are you kidding me? All right, that one works. Ember, don't play off stage with a Rayman. Lesson number one. It will almost always end with Rayman getting that sock. Oh my goodness. The gauntlet reeds are just too strong. Where's my axe? I thought I was going to pick up an axe. There we go. actually playing pretty good under pressure oh that should have been oh my gosh that was so close that side sick oh, I should have held it like a moment longer I guess and this should be game there it is well played dude well played making progress 
All right, we are in the home stretch. We only have three more legends, guys. Let's power through, push through. I know it's been a long video, but we're this close. We might as well finish it off. So let's finish the third row of legends here. And we're going to continue it with Dusk. Unfortunately, I don't have any skins or even a stance for Dusk because I'm only level two with him. But yeah, default Dusk is still pretty cool looking. So Dusk has Spear and Orb, which are actually two good weapons. Um, I would actually recommend Dusk if you're like a new player because he has uh, weapons that are kind of easy to use in my opinion. With the spear especially being kind of a beginner weapon. Not that it can't be really good in uh, in a pro level, but I think it's just a good beginner weapon. And then the orb is a good like medium to high tier weapon, I think. Oh man, I almost, almost killed myself again. I gotta be careful. This guy has no idea what we're doing. Okay. Don't know how my down air didn't do anything like you see how if you do a down air with orb, it'll bounce off the ground like that? Super useful attack. No way! He gave up already! Alright. I, I don't know why he disconnected. Maybe he was lagging? No, he didn't come back. Usually if they're lagging, they like quit and then they come back. That down sig with the orb is really good off the stage. If you like kind of stand about right here and do it, it'll slam them down. Dang, I thought Artemis was doing pretty good. Like, you know, as can be expected anyways. Disappointed he, he gave up, but. And like when he gave up too, like it wasn't even like right after he died. It was like in the middle of a stock, but whatever. Let's finish this up and go on to, I think, Fate. GG, whoever you are. I didn't catch your name, but GG, GG. All right. L second to last. Let's go, baby. We got Fate. Ooh, let's do Frozen Forest. And uh, mm, you know what? Let's do the Shooting Star Scythe. I like that one. And oh, man, I don't have any orb skins. That's okay. Uh, I guess we'll do defense, stance. Actually, yeah, I guess defense. I don't really care. Defense or base at this point. Fate is actually kind of similar to Dusk in that they both have an orb. Um, but Fate actually has even better uh, signatures, I think, than Dusk on both orb and on Scythe. And I think Scythe is a better weapon than Spear, although Spear can be really good too, like I said. All right, I like this guy's uh, weapon starving strategy. Oh, I got a weapon. Your worst nightmare. Oh man, how did I miss that? Boom! Gonna wrap you up and send you flying. Oh, I love that move and I would love to hit it. Oh wow, that was a silent strike. It didn't even make a sound. Normally I would probably weapon starve if this was a higher rank, but since we are kind of smurfing, I'll give him the, the advantage and let him get a weapon every single stock if he wants. Get you with that side sig. Kind of 
kind of missing a few inputs here. Yes! I wanted to hit it with that down six so bad this whole game. It's like the hardest move to hit with fate. At least in a higher, like, higher rank it is. I guess in this rank, not so much. I like the weapon throw, but you have to, like, you have to chase the weapon throw and then punish after you get the throw, you know what I mean? Like, I'll show you what I mean. Throw, and then punish right away and grab. See what I mean? Just chase, pick up the weapon, and attack again. Uh, GG, dude, GG. He was playing a little bit too defensively. I mean, it was good defense, kind of, but too much on the defense. Got to balance it out. Good defense and good offense, both. All right, um, I guess we're going Thor with the Yokai Smash Hammer, guys. And this is the last fight of the video. If you've watched from the beginning and you made it this far, let me know in the comments because you guys are the true MVP. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, two big bad guys. We got Thor and Zul, two muscle men, right? Here we go. I got hammer and orb, and Zul, of course, has axe and cannon. Let's see how we do. I'm going to let him get a weapon there. Oh my. Yeah, I made it back. I made it back. What you got to do, Zul? I bet you he was not expecting me to get back. Oh my gosh, that was good. Hold that. No. Put that away, boy. Oh. This guy's actually not bad either. Like, we're starting to see people that have a little bit more creativity with how they approach the same situations, basically. A little more creativity than a silver or, or a bronze. Ooh, that one hurt. But Thor got that big muscle energy. Oof. You want some more of this, Lil? You want some more? Come get it. Thor, I've been practicing a little bit just because I'm trying to learn hammer. Like, I shouldn't say trying to learn it. Like, I already know how to play hammer. I'm just trying to get better with it. Same with cannon. How did I hit him with the lightning bolt and yet he didn't take damage? Oh well. If this was a higher rank match, I'd be mad, but this is only gold, so no worries. Oof. Thor don't need a weapon, dude. He's just strong. Well played, dude. Well played. I would rematch you. Trust me. I would love to, but we're doing no rematches unless I lose because then I have to play the same legend. If I win, I have to go to the next legend and I won. So I can't change legends on a rematch, um, unfortunately. And it's the end of the video. We did the entire third row of legends, guys. So we're going to save the fourth row of legends for the next video and keep going from there. And I don't know, guys. I think we can get plot rank in the next video. Drop a like and be sure to subscribe if you enjoy the series. And as always, thank you for watching, friends. I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.